The use of neoadjuvant or preoperative imatinib in patients with gastrointestinal stromal tumor is presented by a number of studies, including McAuliffe et al., that supports the use of neoadjuvant as well as adjuvant therapy in patients with gastrointestinal stromal tumor. In my practice, we use preoperative imatinib therapy fairly frequently, and the duration is not written in stone. We typically will treat the patient to maximum tumor shrinkage, which in, ends up being six to nine months. Five months in this case might be a little early, but the patient clearly had substantial tumor regression. At that point in time, proceeding to surgery is very reasonable. Adjuvant therapy with a primary tumor is supported by the SSG study that found both a recurrence-free survival benefit and overall survival benefit for patients treated for three years versus one year. This specific situation, the patient has a solitary liver metastasis this would require longer duration therapy, perhaps lifetime. For patients in the metastatic setting, there seems to be little benefit in treatment at higher doses than 400 milligrams per day if the patient has an exon 11 mutation. So if this patient, in this case, indeed had an exon 11 mutation, I would have initiated therapy with a 400 milligram per day dose of imatinib and continued that postoperatively. In August 2016, after two years, this patient was found to have multiple peritoneal implants and a new solitary liver lesion by CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis. This patient still had a reasonable quality of life, was able to perform his activities of daily living, and was only limited really in strenuous activity. The patient was initiated on therapy with sunitinib, 37.5 milligrams continuous daily dosing. 